Don't lie, that song slaps. Anyway, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kevin. and welcome back to the number one commentary channel in the world. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. I mean, how can you not be doing well? You're watching Kevin. Oh! So it seems as if all of the EDP memes, like I'm talking about the ones he made himself, are being backfired. They're being used against him. Like the EDP memes are simply out of control. Let this be known. Let this be known. I am not a Yeah, I'm sure we all find that very hard to believe after everything that went down. And I'm not sure whether or not you guys have seen it, but there's this trend on Twitter where you're asking verified users or companies to fist bump you, you know, kind of trying to bait them to look bad. But I have to agree, some of them are pretty hilarious. I mean, having PETA fist bombing EDP himself is an achievement anyone can be proud of. But I know you guys may wonder, where is EDP? Like, where did he actually go after he was caught and drove off? Well, some people may believe that he got arrested immediately after he attempted to meet up with a 13 year old, this doesn't really turn out to be the case. Truth is that as of this very moment, he's a free man, probably sitting at home watching all of the reckless memes made about himself. I mean, it has to hurt, right? <laughs> And this is all because of Chet Goldstein, the guy from Predator Poachers who caught EDP and didn't let the police know anything about it until it was too late. So what did EDP do? Well, of course he went home and smashed his computer and erased all evidence that could be used against him. I'm sure EDP gave himself a fist bump after removing all of the evidence. But no guys, I actually found this post on Reddit from one of EDP's friends who basically told us he was okay. He goes on to say that he had talked with him on the phone for an hour and the situation had left him very distraught and that he didn't leave the state as rumors have said. The talk about getting professional help to have him move on and that he had to turn himself in if the police did pick up on the investigation. And all of this comes from a guy called Babylongs333 who apparently did some videos with EDP back in the days. I mean, he should probably come consider himself lucky that he's not locked up cuz I'm not gonna lie to you EDP has got a lot of cake all jokes aside the way he went down was truly sad this is just a quick reminder that these were the guys who confronted EDP and made fun of him for an hour and I just find it incredibly hard to believe that there is only one predator in this picture like I already watched King Kong vs Godzilla I didn't ask to watch it for a second time I mean are we really sure that this guy didn't try to meet up with a 13 year old just to get a cookie because he he sure does look like someone who would drive across the United States just to get one. Anyway, just a quick little meme review type of video. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and watch all of the EDP memes in their glory without making a video about them. Just come on guys. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe to me if you haven't already. If you don't subscribe to me, EDP will knock on your door tonight. With that being said, it's been Kifrin. Stay safe, have fun, be a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.